Hello, tubers. And so things are heating up in the economic world here, especially on Wall Street. This is in New York City. It's about time, it's, uh, the article says, waves of outrage three years after Wall Street collapse. What's it all about? It's about this. It's, uh, <laughs> there's no jobs for young people. Um, and they're realizing, you know, those $5,000 a month rents probably aren't going to be working out for them. Uh, in the village and even in Brooklyn you're going to pay a lot of money every month to exist in Brooklyn you know even years ago I had a friend who rented out a two bedroom apartment for $2,300 a month so that'll kind of get you stuck in the system and um, this is this guy's kind of interesting his name is David Intrader and he's, he's uh, one of the Harvard men for economic justice I think having a nice moderate stand is probably where, what it needs to be about, and it needs to be about you know education and people coming together and uh, trying to help each other out, and it shouldn't all be about money because it gets back to insanity. And so maybe maybe is America heading to some sort of a, uh, a socialistic sort of a expectation of things? Um, you know. Do we want to have a huge uh, lower class? Do we want to have 78% uh, of the economy uh, in the service industry and all our factories and everything uh, in China now because the Wall Street execs and the lawyers, the corporate lawyers sent everything over there in the 80s and the 90s and shut down all the factories over here? Who wants to work in factories anyhow? I mean, there's a lot of different ways to look at it. Anyhow, it's interesting. An American Spring. <laughs> interesting title there something to think about um we'll get through this right just uh everyone pull together and maybe you want to move back to the farms like uh people did in the 70s and raise goats okay hi young people are unhappy in america because there's no jobs for them because we uh had all the rich uh wall street bankers we bailed them out because they need more money for their mansions and yachts. Uh, what happened to the WPA, you know, programs that the government would fund to uh, provide jobs for young people, these, these young people that need jobs, that need work, you know, we could build the roads that way, you know, and uh, provide uh, guaranteed employment for whoever wants to work ably. It worked before and it could work again. Is our country out of money? I don't know. Would the union stop it? Something to think about. Just a thought on that.